So here we go, the first tight end off the board, Trey McBride. Not surprised that we would hear his name called for a team that needs a tight end. Most of our analysts here at NFL Network had Trey McBride number one on their draft board positionally. Brett Dulcich, the kid out of UCLA, was number two. A couple, there had been some momentum going his way to maybe overtake with Trey McBride, but nonetheless, this is a guy that has been an absolute monster at Colorado State. Yeah, he has been. He's also a guy, he can block, but he is a catching, receiving tight end, right? He's, they already have Max Williams, they have Zach Ertz. So he would be a guy, knowing that Zach Ertz is getting a little bit, a uh, little bit more tread on his tire, a guy that can step up. And we may be having the same situation that happened in Zach Ertz in Philadelphia, happening to him exactly a year and a half later in Arizona. Trey McBride at Colorado State, I had an opportunity uh, to talk to Steve Dazio, who was their head coach, two seasons there, but the point is, I asked him about McBride, he said, hey, he is as good as any player I have ever been around, and the numbers speak to that, a two-time first team, all Mountain West performer, led FBS tight ends with over 1,100 receiving yards, and as Steve is making reference to this guy, he do some blocking, but as a pass catcher, really talented, it's almost a little surprising here, you know, that was 